A few scattered storms are still moving through the area on this Thursday night. Pop-up storms, though, throughout the day dropped large hail, heavy rain, and brought some strong wind. Pretty much all of the area saw something today, and for some, it started very early in the morning. Good evening, everyone. These storms popped up fast, and even though they disappeared relatively quickly, they made their presence felt. We begin tonight with Fox 11's Ben Crumholtz in Manitowoc, and Ben, your area saw some impressive-sized hail. Tom, it wasn't really just the size, it was the length of time that it was falling. One person told me the hail was consistent for 15 minutes. Now, check out this video that Justin Zipperer sent us from Manitowoc. He lives in the northern part of the city, and you can see the way it's coming down. It's pretty wild. Some people do have damage to their vehicles and houses. The piles of hail look like those lazy snow piles in the spring that just won't melt. It had people busting out rakes and even shovels this evening. I was driving home from my son's ball game, and it felt like we were in a war zone. Hail was coming down on our car, and it felt like, felt like and sounded like gunshots going off inside the car. And uh, my son was terrified. I was expecting more damage, and luckily I didn't have as much as um, I could have had. Now, overall, we didn't see or hear of any major damage, but certainly some automotive centers will be getting some calls tomorrow for some vehicle repairs. You can count on that. For now, we're reporting live in Manitowoc. Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. All right, Ben, and some of you in Manitowoc sent us some uh, pretty large hail close-ups using our online report it feature. Uh, this uh, showing the hail the size of basically a tennis ball. That's from Michelle. And sent us another photo showing us uh, the different sized hail that came down in the Lakeshore area. About an hour and a half's drive west in Clintonville, there was damage reported from the storms. This tree took down a power line with it. No widespread power outages, but at last report, about 100 customers are still without power this evening in Wapaka County. And throughout the whole area at 9 o'clock, it's about 500 customers still in the dark. That's also down significantly from 6,000 earlier in the day. 